Hello. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. I have a low tech solution to my high tech problems here today, and I'm hoping that uh, you guys will get a lot out of this video, whether you're watching it live or later. If you are live, I encourage you to drop messages so that I can see your questions and then I can answer them during this time. If not, I'm just going to go through uh, a few items that I think would be beneficial to all. And if those people uh, who are looking for answers want to come back and reference this video, then all the information will be here. So with that being said, I, I hope this break is treating everybody well. Uh, I hope everyone's healthy. Um, it's been an adjustment for everybody and I am adjusting myself, but I am looking forward to some of the benefits of what we're going to experience in the next couple of weeks because I have some cool things lined up for you guys and I have some easy ways to keep learning on your own at home or to stay involved and stay engaged in our classroom even though we're not all together socially distant but academically present and that's very exciting. So with that being said, uh, thank you for those of you who have checked in up to now. Thank you for those of you who have asked questions and who have sent emails. Please keep doing that. I love receiving those uh, notices about how, how are my students doing? How is everyone holding up? Um, you don't even have to ask a question. You can just drop a line and say, hey, Mr. G, what's up? And I'll be happy to get right back to you on that. Um, anyway, so for today, I wanted to go over a couple of things that are coming up. And then I wanted to go over a couple of things that already exist for your benefit and for your convenience. So coming up, I'm going to be putting out more videos and more content based on uh, what are some of the ideas, what do the pros do when they want to practice at home? And included in this would be questions about how do I do this with my instrument? How do I do that? Oh, my string's coming off. Oh, my bow isn't sounding right. What can I do about these items? And I'll, I'll have more information coming out about that shortly in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to be doing a thorough walkthrough of the functions of musico.io. And for those of you who don't remember, that is the online software that you can use to practice along with recordings or with uh, MIDI tracks. And it keeps track of your practice minutes. So then I can go back in, Mr. Gruber can go back in and check on that. And I can see automatically how much you've been practicing, what you've been working on is all tracked. So I'll be walking through more of that later on. I'll also be giving a tour of this online resource that you can download that's an accompaniment to our String Basics books. It's called Interactive Practice Studio. And you can download all of the practice tracks for uh, book tests, and it's all available for free um, through the uh, method book itself. And so that's coming up. And I'll also be posting more YouTube lessons uh, just in general. I'm thinking in particular about scales coming up for fall auditions for eighth graders going to high school or for those kids who are interested in auditioning for MYO. But that's coming up in the future. We're not doing that today. What we're doing today. Our infotainment for today is we are going to be visiting our classroom website. We got to be able to find this if you're going to keep up with all the announcements for my class as we are separated, socially distant. So I am going to get you there right away. And then I'm going to introduce an activity for you. It's easy. and It could be a fun way for you to stay connected with our classroom. So to go to the classroom website, if you're available, if you if you can do this now, I can talk you through it. Um, otherwise, just, uh, well, it's not that hard. You go to mcpsmt.org and you click on schools at the bottom. Then you click on the website link under the contact info for our school CS Porter. Then you click on staff web pages, which is gonna be up here-ish. Then you scroll down to the G for my last name and you click on that and you'll get into it. Now, when you go there, you're going to see information about uh, our classroom and about our school. You're gonna have a link to this YouTube channel that you're already watching. Uh, and you're gonna have a link to our classroom Instagram, to musico.io and to that online software uh, IPS for our method books. So 
I'm going to go there right away. We're just going to go to, as I said, mcpsmt.org. You click on schools at the bottom. Right here, top center, CS Porter Middle School. Go to the website. Hey, that's us. Then you go down here. Uh, excuse me, you go up here, staff web pages. Scroll down. That's me, Gruber. And now here we are. Now here's where the important stuff happens if you're looking for links to resources and you're looking for a convenient place to go. So here we have my contact information and a ways that you can get in touch with me if you need something. Over here on this side, we have links to the YouTube for our music department. This is for band, orchestra, and choir. For musico.io, for IPS, and a link to our classroom Instagram to sign up to follow the announcements that I make. And if you're not an Instagram person, that's fine. It's just a convenient way for some to get involved. So once again, it's kind of a convoluted process, but if you're familiar with our school website, it's, it becomes easier. So from there, and here's a link, by the way, if you want to screenshot that, you can keep that. Uh, you can get to all the different resources. There you go. So before we get into this week's fun activity, I'd like to uh, go into a couple of different items from that website, from those pages. So our Instagram is csp.o. When you click on this from our school or from our classroom website, you'll see this. All you have to do is click follow and then you're with me. I got um, some followers and I got some posts. Now that we are working from home, now that we are all doing online learning, I'm posting more. And I, I found time to do that. And it's been a convenient way for me to um, it's also got a direct message feature as well. And so during this time when we're all staying at home, it's an easy way for you to reach me quickly. Musico.io is something that is really beneficial, but I also know that for many, it's been a little bit confusing to get started. So I'd like to walk you guys through that now, just so that you don't have any questions about how this is supposed to work. So, and again, this is available from the classroom website, but I'm just clicking this feature. So when you click on the link or when you type in musico.io, there is no.com, you get to this homepage. You get started by going not to here where it says get started. I know that's confusing, but that's for people that don't already have their account paid for. Yours is paid for through Missoula County Public Schools. So you're just gonna go to log in. And when you do this, you get this screen. From here, there's two ways you can go. Both have worked for me, but for some students, for various technological reasons that I can't pretend to understand, the first way that I'm going to show you that was recommended to me doesn't work, and the other one does, or vice versa. So I'm going to go over both. Right here, you're going to type in your school email address. This is the one where it says at student.mcpsmt.org. Whatever the number and letters are before that, that's for you. The password, if you log in through these two fields, is P-A-S-S-1234. -S it's all lowercase, no spaces. And if you do that, it should get you there. But for some, that hasn't worked. So what I would recommend for those students is to go down here to where it says Google Plus. You click on this. And if you're logged out of your computer or whatever, it, it won't have your name, so you might have to use another account. But once you've logged in using your student Gmail account, the same one, two digits, six letters, at student.mcpsmt.org. Once you've done that, then you'll use your normal uh, email login, whatever you would use to check your email at school. Doing this, it should get you in. It's called, I don't know, I call it a backdoor. It's kind of a backdoor around the technology to get you to your account. So I've seen that work for some students, even when the first way with the PASS1234, when that didn't work, this did. So once again, two ways to log in. Once you do, you'll get to a screen where you have options. And the first option should show you something like new assignments. 
and you click on that and you can navigate from there. I've had questions about exactly how to use Musico. And I, again, I'm gonna dive into that deeper at a later date. But for now, if all you can do is find the website and get logged in, you're still ahead of many. So I would suggest keeping that in mind. So that's Musico. And I've had several students email me uh, through Musico, through their messaging, and that works just fine to get a hold of me. Speaking of getting a hold of me, there's my email, jmgruber at mcpsmt.org. The Instagram is csp.o and musico.io, as I've already said, has direct messaging. This is, all three of these ways are equally good to get a hold of me. And beyond that, my school phone still works, my normal Outlook email still works through mcps k12.mt.us. That's all there. So if you have any questions, please get in touch with me. One new thing might be uh, adding a comment to this video because uh, once this is up, I'll be able to go back and check on these. So I think now, yes, now it's time for your fun weekly assignment. This week is gonna be very chill. In addition to whatever you would normally like to do for practice, what I would like you to do is to reach out to me in some way and let me know how you're doing. I just need to hear that you're you're hanging in there and that you are navigating through some of this technology. I just need to make sure that it's working for my students. So what I'd like you to do is email, use the YouTube comments, use Instagram, or use the messenger in musico.io to get in touch with me. Let me know how things are going, if you have any questions, or if you have no questions, you can just say, hey, things are good. Anyway, thank you for joining me during this time. I have seen uh, several of you have joined me, so thank you very much. Thanks for the upvotes. That's really nice. It is fulfilling, uh, I'll be honest. Um, I hope that you do well this week. There's more to come. Uh, if you have any questions, get in touch with me. If you would just like to say hi, get in touch with me. Let me know. I hope you take care of you and yours, and I will talk to you again soon.